How many paths are there to get into the automotive field? Hey, you're joining Automotive for Beginners. Today, we're going to talk about when you start out as a complete beginner, the options available to you to become an automotive service technician. Each province or state will vary to some degree when it comes to advancing in the automotive field. But we're going to make this as simple as possible. These routes available for you to take will apply in a general sense to all automotive shops across North America. We'll start off with the least expensive options available to you to start out and work our way up. The first route is to become a technician with no work experience or schooling. I've made a video about this earlier on how to become a mechanic with no experience or school. If you can invest a small amount of money on tools and do small repairs starting out, that can land you into quick loop shops. There you'd be doing engine oil changes and small jobs for a while, but that can build towards your experience and resume. Once you've got about 6 months to a year's worth of experience at the quick loop shops, you're in a much better position to apply at dealerships or independent shops. This route doesn't cost you too much starting out as you'll be doing mostly oil changes. The second route is to go to college to take an automotive technician program. This is different than taking the apprenticeship program. With the automotive technician program, you can get into college and earn credentials even if you have no work experience. The course is usually four months depending on the province or state and you get a certificate at the end of the course once you pass. With the new certificate, you can get into dealerships and independent shops much easier, bypassing the quick loop shops. But you would have to pay over $2,500 in tuition just to get the certificate. The third option is to become an apprentice. This option is more or less up to the employer to sign you up for apprenticeship. This means you'd have to work at a shop for a while before anyone gives you that chance. So if you're just starting out, it'll be much more tougher to get anyone to sign you up right away. It's still possible, but chances are low. The option to become an apprentice does take more time to get to. But once you're ready and someone signs you up for apprenticeship, you'll usually have to pass four years worth of training to complete your apprenticeship. You can pay for your training or have the employer offer to pay for you. Take the option to have the employer pay for your training if you can. It will all depend on who you're working for. This will also be the time you spend even more money on tools as you advance. The fourth option is probably not very common, but you could open up a shop and hire a journeyman licensed mechanic to train you. You would have to pay your mechanic his wage and keep the place running, but this way you could pass the apprenticeship at your own pace. This is probably the most expensive option, but hey, at least you'll get to make profit going down this route. So there you have it, four different routes you can take to become an automotive service technician. What's my advice? Take the easiest route possible in the beginning. Give yourself a bit of time to progress in knowledge and skill. Once you put in some time, you'll know if this is something you want to continue to do or not. It gets tougher as you go. I went through all three routes. I got my certificate at an automotive technician program and was offered apprenticeship twice. But I think I'll go for the fourth route at this point. I can't work for a boss in this field. But to each his own. Now you know the four different paths to take to become an automotive technician. If you learned a lot here and you want to learn about the secret tool that mechanics use to find practically everything they need to repair vehicles, type www.automotiveforbeginners.com slash the secret tool to learn more or click the link below. It's 100% free. To get that, click the link in the description box below. Subscribe, share, and comment. Comment below. If you have any questions for me, I'll be happy to help. This is Automotive for Beginners, and I'll see you in the next one.